Marama Fox. Kia ora te mana whakawā. Nei rā te mihi atu ki a koe me te whare. Last week I was in Christchurch, where in fact just about the whole of Māridom were in Christchurch. And there I witnessed the power and the magnificence that is being Māori in the week of Te Matatini. And why is that so magnificent? Well, Mr Speaker, it's because there at Te Matatini, all of the issues pertinent to the day are spoken about in haka and in waiata. In fact, our very own Prime Minister was the subject of many haka throughout that week. Uh, if uh, you had the opportunity to watch the, the uh, matatini, you would see the issues pertaining to Māori articulated in beautiful song and beautiful waiata aringa. In fact, I think that all of the politicians of the day should spend time at Te Matatini to hear the voice of Māridom. We are not the only ones who speak uh, with independent voice on behalf of Māori. Māori speak for themselves and we're very proud to support uh, Māori self-determination and the aspirations. Working with the national government in the relationship accord that we have had is actually quite a remarkable agreement. We are grateful for the opportunity to work with a government that understands the need to ensure Māori voice is heard, and that the Māori aspirations of our people are upheld and included in things like the budget. I would loudly and proudly crow about all of these things that we've been able to achieve with the national government um, on the condition that we can have some more. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> The, the Māori Party has uh, pushed and have been successful in addressing a number of the issues that face Māori. Uh, one of those has been the establishment of the committee for uh, the Ministerial Committee for Poverty. And through this committee, we've been able to achieve a number of benefits for Māori and the wider community. We have to remember that when we are able to achieve things for Māori, it is value added, not just for our own people, but for the whole of Aotearoa. We saw the need to support our whānau to be warm, healthy and secure, hence the investment in home insulation, uh, rheumatic fever and a pilot of warrant of fitness testing on housing. We have secured millions of dollars of direct investment in Māori communities spread across a wide range of portfolios targeting housing, employment, social development, education, disabilities, Māori language, social development and access to jobs through trade training, cadetships, community development and health including securing funding for free GP visits and prescriptions. And despite what some parties may think, they do not have um, a monopoly on IP. And though they might have an idea, they can do nothing about it if they're sitting in opposition. So we are grateful to have, again, of uh, working with the uh, national government to achieve the things that we put out on the table. We have extended kickstart breakfasts to bring food into schools, into every school in the country if they ask for it. We have introduced the Māori history in schools. We have advocated for the recognition of cultural significance and of course the unique and life-changing approach that many of us know as Fano Ora. We have seen how Fano Water has transformed lives. I have listened to young men talk about the transformation that they have had in their lives through Fano Water, through the opportunity to uh, plan, to gain the dreams and visions that they have in building closer connectedness with their whānau. Whānau Order changes lives. We are pleased to support Wakahodua. Air to Fano and all of these sorts of things. Uh, we want to do more though. We want to do more to work with iwi, uh, to see uh, mana whenua uh, being able to thrive and lift their economic potential to address disparities. Uh, we realise that some of the things we support might not be things you expect, like we support uh, the uh, schooling initiative of Kura Haurua, uh, with my good friend over here, Dawiri, because we need to ensure that Māori have the potential and have the aspirations Order. of educational achievement. Mr Speaker. Whole names. Oh, Mr Dawiri Seymour. Thank you. Uh, of our party here. Whole names. Uh, we want to ensure that there are choice for Māori who are un underserved in our country uh, to date. And so therefore, Mr Speaker, we would like to 
uh, support the budget and ensure that we continue to have gains in the coming year. I understand it's the intention of the Honourable Judith Collins to share her time with Mr Seymour. Yes. Therefore, there will be a five-minute speech. The Thank Honourable you so Judith much, Collins. Mr. Speaker.